This is the presentation of our paper, Density Ratio Based Personalized Ranking from Implicit Feedback. In this study, we propose a framework of learning to rank from implicit user feedback. In personalized item recommendations, we observe NIID user feedbacks. Each sample is represented by a pair of user and item. Based on the observed feedback, we construct sets of unique users and items. The set of positive items for each user can be defined as the items that interacted with the user. The objective of personalized item recommendations is to sort unobserved items based on user preference for each user. There are three properties of personalized item recommendation from implicit feedback. The first one is the one class problem, that is, implicit feedback only provides positive examples. Second, the size of large I is huge in real applications, and therefore, the scalability with respect to the number of items is required. Third, the number of user item pairs observed as implicit feedback is quite small compared with that of all possible user item pairs. There are two mainstream formulations of item recommendation from implicit feedback. The pointwise approach formulates the recommendation as binary classification, by introducing label variable Y, which indicates, over-served, or, un, observed. This approach aims to estimate the class posterior probability for a given user item pair. A regression-based loss is widely adopted with sample weighting. The pointwise approach can achieve fast convergence in model training but often compromises the ranking effectiveness. The pairwise approach formulates the recommendation as another binary classification. This approach aims to estimate a user's pairwise preference between two items. The logistic regression loss is widely adopted. Because it is often infeasible to compute the losses over all possible pairs of items for each user, Sampling-based optimization is widely adopted. The choice of a negative sampling strategy is essential in terms of both efficiency and effectiveness. In contrast to the pointwise approach, the pairwise counterpart can achieve good ranking effectiveness but often compromises the convergence time in model training. Our motivation in this study is to achieve practical performance in terms of both training efficiency and ranking effectiveness. The main challenge is the trade-off between efficiency and effectiveness. The second challenge is the scalability with respect to the number of items in a dataset. The crux of our approach is to use a pointwise loss function for training efficiency while improving the formulation by considering ranking effectiveness. To achieve the scalability with respect to the number of items, we adopt a sampling-based optimization strategy but introduce sample weighting in a mini-batch for further effectiveness. Before explaining our method, we introduce the recently proposed, non-sampling approach. Non-sampling approach is an efficient optimization strategy for the pointwise regression loss. It achieves fast convergence without sampling for users or items but enables stochastic optimization. The non-sampling approach transforms the sum of the pointwise regression losses to achieve efficient computation. First, the sum of the pointwise loss over the whole data can be separated into positive and negative samples. Here, the important trick is that we can rewrite the sum of losses over negative samples to the difference between those of all samples and positive ones. By invoking the trick and removing the term for negative samples, the objective function can be expressed by the three sums over positive and all samples. The non-sampling approach does not use the negative examples in its objective explicitly. Here, we discuss the relationship between the non-sampling approach and positive and labeled learning. PU learning is a semi-supervised learning framework for positive-only data, such as implicit feedback. The risk over fully supervised data with positive and true negative samples can be estimated with positive and unlabeled samples by using the same trick to remove the risk over unobservable negative samples. From this point of view, we can consider the non-sampling approach as positive and labeled learning. To obtain the scalability of model training, we can extend the non-sampling approach to a sampling-based one by using the risk of PU learning.
the risk based on PU learning can still suffer from ranking ineffectiveness due to the formulation based on class posterior estimation. In this study, we tackle the ranking ineffectiveness of the pointwise approach. In the inference phase of top K item recommendation tasks, we sort items according to the order of the predicted class posterior probabilities. Here, by using the Bayes rule, a class posterior can be decomposed into three probability densities. Because the class prior is item independent, it does not affect on the item ranking for a given user. Therefore, estimating density ratios is sufficient to predict item rankings. The benefit of this approach is that we can reduce the model's estimation error comes from estimating the class prior and induce a top-weighted property in the risk. Here, how can we estimate density ratios from positive-only data? The Bregman divergence is a class of distance-like functions, which includes the kullback liebler divergence. The Bregman divergence between true and estimated density ratios can be empirically approximated with positive and unlabeled data. Here, the unobservable true density ratio can be removed, and the resulted risk has expectations over positive and unlabeled samples. Hence, the Bregman divergence can be empirically approximated by using implicit feedback data. By minimizing the Bregman divergence between true and estimated density ratios, we can directly estimate the true density ratio by a model, R hat. Moreover, by following the conventional pointwise approach, we extend the risk based on the Bregman divergence to enable the use of sample weights. You can see the detailed derivation of the risk in our paper. As the Bregman divergence is a class of divergences, we develop a specialized risk based on unconstrained least squared importance fitting. The risk theoretic perspective can provide another intuition for the relationship between negative weighting and sampling. Whole data based approaches without sampling often introduce sample dependent weights and aim to minimize the sum of losses with the weights. On the other hand, the risk for sampling based approaches can be expressed as the expectations over positive and negative samples. The distribution of negative samples is often determined by a negative sampling strategy. In the training phase, the risk is estimated through empirical approximation, and the empirical risk can be expressed as the sum of losses weighted by the density of sampling distributions. Therefore, a sample weighting strategy works similarly to that of the negative sampling. Based on this, we design a weighting strategy inspired by the conventional negative sampling methods and then install it in the weighted Bregman divergence. Most pointwise methods adopt the weighting strategy based on item popularity. It penalizes negative items with high popularity. This strategy uses static and user-independent weighting. On the other hand, the conventional negative sampling strategies often use adaptive and user-dependent sampling distributions. Such adaptive sampling distributions reflect the current state of the ranker model and contribute to the top-weighted property and ranking effectiveness. By following such adaptive negative samplers, we propose an adaptive weighting strategy, hard sample weighting, by simply using the estimated density ratio at each training step. For positive items, our strategy weighs the items with lower estimated density ratios. And for negative items, it weighs the items with higher estimated density ratios. Therefore, it penalizes positives ranked lower and negatives ranked higher, namely, false negatives and false positives. As it is difficult to use all samples for each training for large-scale data and a complex model, we use stochastic optimization methods such as SGD. To stably train a model through stochastic optimization, we need to estimate the risk based on a sampled mini-batch with low bias and variance. Our proposed estimator can be expressed as the sum of four weighted average terms with self-normalization. The proposed estimator is biased for general sampling strategies for the items in a mini-batch. By considering this, we develop a variant of our proposed risk. We can correct the risk and reduce the bias by using important sampling. The approximated risk can be obtained by replacing the term for unlabeled samples by using the inverse sampling densities. Furthermore, we examined another risk correction technique. Because DRE-based risks can be minimized almost infinitely by maximizing the scores for positive items, 
it may lead to overfitting for complex models. To avoid it, we propose a variant with non-negative risk correction. By introducing an additional term, we can alleviate overfitting to a small number of positive samples. This technique introduces a hyperparameter that indicates the upper bound of density ratios. We summarize the properties of our proposed ranking DRE approach. First, our approach can achieve fast convergence of model training due to the pointwise loss. The adaptive weighting strategy can also contribute to the convergence speed by weighing the samples with larger losses. Second, our proposed risk has the top weighted property. Because density ratios are non-negative and can take a large value, squared error between density ratios concentrates to the samples with large density ratios, that is, the samples in higher rank positions. Furthermore, our hard sample weighting strategy penalizes false positives and negatives in the top of ranked lists. Third, our proposed risk can be empirically approximated with positive and labeled data, such as implicit feedback. We compared our proposed DRE GNCF with the state of the art neural network based recommenders in terms of ranking effectiveness. The model architecture of DRE GNCF is the same as Light GCN. The difference between Light GCN and DRE GNCF is only in the optimization strategies. Light GCN and DRE GNCF are based on the pairwise and DRE approaches, respectively. In our experiments, we used three real-world datasets, Gawala, Yelp 2018, and Amazon Book. The best performing baseline is Light GCN for all datasets. Our method achieves significantly higher performance in the Yelp 2018 and Amazon Book datasets, which have more items than the Gawala dataset. On the other hand, our method slightly underperforms Light GCN in Gawala dataset. However, the difference is not statistically significant. From these results, our proposed DRE approach can achieve comparable or more effective than the pairwise approach. We also examine the training efficiency of our proposed approach. As shown in the figure, light GCN with a pairwise approach is extremely inefficient in terms of total training time and total iterations to converge. By contrast, ENMF, which is based on a non-sampling approach, can achieve excellent convergence in the Gawala and Yelp 2018 datasets. However, it slows down in the Amazon Book datasets. This is because the non-sampling approach requires the use of all items in a dataset for each training step, and therefore, it takes a much longer time to update the model parameters in each training step. Moreover, due to the GPU memory space limitation, ENMF cannot use a large number of users in a mini-batch, and thus, requires more training iterations to converge. On the other hand, our proposed DRE-based method consistently achieves fast convergence for all datasets. Because we designed our approach based on the expected loss, namely, the risk, we can use arbitrary sub-sampling methods for both users and items. In conclusion, our proposed pointwise approach is more efficient than the pairwise approach without compromising the ranking effectiveness. Moreover, our approach adopts sampling-based optimization, it is more scalable than the non-sampling approach. In this study, we proposed a new pointwise formulation of top K personalized recommendation from implicit feedback. We tackled the trade-off between effectiveness and efficiency by reformulating the pointwise approach from a perspective of semi-supervised density ratio estimation. To further improve ranking effectiveness, we also proposed an adaptive weighting strategy in the spirit of the conventional negative sampling strategies. In addition to the training efficiency, our approach is scalable with respect to the number of items. This is because we designed the objective based on empirical risk minimization to use stochastic optimization methods and sub-sampling for both users and items, in contrast to the non-sampling approach. For further information, please check our paper. Our implementation code of DRE-GNCF is available on GitHub.